In this lesson, we're going to subtract two mixed numbers. Well, one mixed number, one and one half, and subtract it by three fourths, which is a proper fraction. So right away, we notice that our larger number, one and one half, is first. So our problem is set up correctly. However, if you look at your numerators, one and three, one is the smaller numerator. So there's two things you could do. One, you could regroup. Or you can change your mixed number one and one half to an improper fraction. Here we're going to learn how to change our mixed number one and one half into an improper fraction and then subtract it by three fourths. So to change one and one half into an improper fraction, you first multiply the, the bottom and add the top. We multiply two times one. Our answer is two and we add our numerator, which is one. We keep our denominator two the same, and our improper fraction is now written as three seconds. We subtract three-fourths from, from three seconds. So our new problem now is three seconds subtracted by three-fourths. That was three seconds subtracted by three-fourths. Now we see that our first numerator is three and that is equal to our second numerator of three. So now we're ready to go ahead and subtract. So the first step always once we're ready to move on with our problem is to look to see if we have common denominators and in this case we do not. So we need to find the least common multiple of two and four. You should easily be able to look at this and tell that the least common multiple that each have that each of our factors have in common is four. So we will rewrite our fractions to have two denominators of four. Now three fourths already has a denominator of four, so we don't need to change this fraction. However, three seconds does not. So we need to ask ourselves what do we multiply? our denominator by to get to 4 and our answer is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 so we need to be a copycat. Oops, multiply our numerator by the same number we multiplied our denominator by which is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Now we can subtract. Our denominators are now the same. We know that our denominators will stay the same so we only need to subtract our numerators, 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 fourths is our answer. We check to see if it is an improper fraction or if it needs simplified or reduced and it does not. 3 fourths is our final answer. So remember when you are subtracting to first look to make sure your larger number is written first and then make sure that your numerator on your first fraction is larger than your numerator on your second fraction. If not, you may need to change both into mixed numbers.